Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. I'm Christy Scheib and this morning we're visiting with Kristen Hildebrand. She's Warren County's Extension Agent for Horticulture. You are going to talk to us about using succulents in unique ways around our home this season. You know, what's fun about succulents is that they contain a lot of like um, thick, uh, squishy type watery stems. Sometimes it could be in the root system of it, but you know, there's a lot of different colors of succulents. There's also different types of succulents. Some have more upright growth habits like zebra plant and then also aloe, or you can have some that kind of trail and it's a lot of fun with some of those string of buttons, string of pearls. I mean, you can find all kinds of trailing types that way. And then there's also some uh, round or, you know, just, um, you know, that have a nice rounding habit, especially with a lot of different succulents as well. So I highly encourage you to check out succulents if you haven't already, because as we go into the growing season, there could be places where you could incorporate succulents into your home. And it's a, a nice conversation piece too. Kristen, you recently did the Mammoth Cave Area Homemaker Leader Lesson um, on succulents and fun with succulents and you showed us some of those creative ways that we can arrange those succulents, how to care for our succulents, and even for people who may feel like they struggle with keeping regular plants alive. Mainly the light is an issue because sometimes if you have those in your home, we, we don't have a lot of light, so you have to supplement with light, but you do need some bright light for those succulents. And then the watering is also something to consider as well with growing succulents at home. So, so water um, kind of leads, kind back into your soil that you have. They need quick drying soil. So a lot of times your potting soil mixture for any type of container where you grow succulents, you need to kind of look for ones that's kind of, you know, identified for succulents or cactus because cactus also fits into the succulent family. And then so they like a little bit of wet dry cycle. So you saturate it until it runs out the bottom of the drainage holes of your container and then you let it dry out and then whenever it feels completely dry, then you can water again. But it doesn't take as much water because I know water is like the number one plant killer for a so lot of plants. How often should we be watering our succulents, Kristen? Yeah, it kind of depends on the environment, also the container and kind of where it's situated. We can put our succulents outdoors whenever the conditions are warm enough for that. Um, I will say that going from indoors out will be a little bit of a change. So you just want to kind of gradually introduce them to, because the light outside is going to be more intense sunlight. Um, but you know, there's a lot of fun ways we can use succulents. Um, I know I came in contact with a, a bunch as I, like you said, preparing for the lesson. So you can host a succulent party at your home. Um, you can gather a couple of different succulents and run it down the center of your table, kind of as like a, a centerpiece and maybe have some succulent type of uh, cupcakes to kind of go along with your decor and you can set it up in any color but you know pink and green looks really good together um, and then you can make a succulent bouquet and you know, a lot of people are getting ready for maybe a wedding's coming up maybe um, in the summer or even later in the fall succulents look really nice and a lot of bouquets they look great on boutonnieres if you've got just a one simple you know boutonniere type look so it's a lot of fun there but dish gardens. Um, it's kind of more of a shallow type container, but those are really popular. Once you get all the containers in there, they do like a little bit more compact places. So, you know, you can actually fit them in kind of tight and those shallow containers, they don't really have to have a lot of, you know, deep container space um, like you would for like house plants or something like that. So dish gardens are great. Terrariums are also another option that you can do inside your home. It's a great way to get the kids involved and even it works well for Christmas too. So I've seen a succulent um, actual tree that you can make for you know, around the holidays or I've even seen some hanging ornaments that you can actually put up into the air and it's just a really fun way of using succulents. So we just put together a succulent members guide for the homemakers so if you would like more information about the care tips um, or maybe even what's needed for succulents you can request that for reference here at the extension office in Warren County. We'd be glad to put it in your hands. All right. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.